Hello everyone! In today's video we are gonna build an image classifier that uses TensorFlow.js to label any image from the internet. Let's go! To build the image classifier uh, we'll use TensorFlow.js. For today's video you don't have to know anything about uh, artificial intelligence or machine learning or uh, any of this stuff um, what I want to show you today is that you can use machine learning even if you don't have any theoretical knowledge about this uh, for sure you uh, you can go and start learning more about this it's a very interesting topic but uh, today we are gonna use some uh, pre-built stuff so uh, you can go to tensorflow.org slash js or you can google this tensorflow.js and after you end up on this page let's go to C models uh, for today we'll use the image classification model so here under github uh, we'll use uh, the script tag we'll go plain and simple with html and javascript uh, maybe I'll do a future video with uh, Angular or stuff like that. Uh, but uh, what we do today uh, will be pretty easy uh, to replicate in a front-end framework or uh, something like this. So I created a folder on my computer where we are gonna make our project. So let's start with the index.html. Uh, let's go back to the github and copy all of the code here uh, at the script tag. Okay, so let's see what we have here. The first script is uh, the tensorflow library. The second uh, script is the model that, uh, that we'll use to classify our image. So... Uh, Let's see, here will be our image. Let's delete the source uh, tag and let's add the cross origin anonymous uh, attribute because uh, this will allow us to load uh, an external image here in this image tag. Okay, so uh, let's delete some of these comments. Okay. Okay, so uh, here we get the image, uh, here we load the model, after the model is loaded we can go ahead and classify an image and console log the predictions. So let's quickly try and see how all this uh, looks like. So let me grab an image, okay, let's get the house image. And let's quickly put it right here, okay? So, let's go ahead and open this with live server. And, uh, okay, let's inspect this. And as you can see, we got three predictions, palace, lakeside uh, and castle okay so not very accurate but uh, but pretty close okay so now let's clean things up a little bit here and apply some CSS uh, let's go and generate a HTML uh, HTML template okay Let's uh, see what we uh, got here. So those things will go here. Uh, this image will also go here. And let's remove the source. Uh, okay, and this script, let's, uh, let's keep all of this in one file. Uh, okay, for now, we'll go here. Okay, and uh, let's add a title, my awesome image, 
Oh, okay, if I can spell right, oh, awesome, okay, image classifier, okay. Now, um, let's go ahead and add the style tag here, okay, and uh, let's uh, see. So, what I want to do is uh, have an input, uh, paste the link, click a button, show the image and the predictions. So um, now let's uh, go ahead and uh, remove the source of the image. Okay. So we'll have this uh, input with this button here. Okay. So what we want to do is when we click the button. So let's go ahead and give this an ID. Okay. Let's call this uh, submit button. So let's remove the no <laughs> okay this visual studio code it's uh, driving me crazy i was using um uh, i was using webstorm lately so uh, i forgot how to use this okay so we got this an id okay so let's get here in the javascript let's uh, call this button and let's copy paste this okay so we have the button here so we do button dot uh, on click okay um, will be equal to this so here we'll have an event okay so we can get the okay so we also also need the the text okay so no need for the event here um the text will have an ID of uh, image URL, okay? So we'll also have this here, okay? And uh, we'll do a const URL equal to uh, input dot value. Okay, so let's um, uh, okay, let's let's comment this. Okay, so now let's type something here, and um, uh, okay, and let's console load the URL. Okay, so let's type here something and we'll get here in the console. Okay, so now we have a way to uh, actually get the URL. So now we have to do image dot source equal to URL. Okay, uh, we are not gonna do any kind of validation here. So we'll go with uh, valid URLs. Uh, you can go ahead and do this if you want. So, now uh, we can do something like this. Let's go and do a function. Call this do prediction. Okay. So let's uh, let's do something like this. Let's go ahead and do a uh, not const but let model. Okay. So here we'll do something like this. If the model exists, uh, we'll go ahead and do the prediction immediately. So if not, we'll also load the model and do the prediction. So let's copy this and let's organize it a little. So first, if the model exists, uh, we'll 
only no 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 we'll only do the prediction okay so if we have the model we'll use the model with the, the image and show the prediction if the model does not exist we'll uh, load the model and uh, we'll uh, we'll use it to to classify the, the image okay so we'll do model equal this okay and uh, we'll do the prediction after okay so let's try and um, and test this okay but first <clears throat> we'll have to do something here we'll do image dot on load because the image isn't going to load immediately so after we change the source we'll have to uh, to wait a little for the image to load so here we'll call do prediction okay after the image loaded so let's go ahead and uh, take our house and see if it's working okay so we have the house here and let's go ahead and see if we get the prediction okay perfect so we got the prediction so now let's go ahead and try it with a different image okay let's go ahead and paste a different image click go and we have a cat and we got the prediction immediately because the model was already loaded okay perfect so now let's go ahead and actually display those predictions so as you can see we get a, an array of object with the class name and the probability so it's already sorted by the probability so the first one got the, the highest probability and so on so let's uh, let's see how we want to do this so maybe let's uh, show the, the first uh, the first uh, prediction the one with the highest probability okay so how do we do this let's do something like this let's go ahead and do a paragraph here let's give this an id uh, maybe prediction and uh, let's uh, let's leave it empty okay so let's uh, let's get this here in the script so let's uh, do this uh, result okay and id is prediction and when we click here the button let's do result dot uh, inner text is equal to loading okay so after we uh, get the prediction okay let's also do another function because i don't like uh, to repeat code uh, sh let's call this show prediction and uh, let's also give it the prediction and let's do um, let's give it actually the predictions okay so let's give it the whole array okay so let's here do a result dot inner text is equal to predictions of zero dot class name okay so this will send the text uh, and actually let's um, concatenate this to this might be and um let's uh, write something like this this might be a and a cat a house okay so um okay we'll uh instead of console login this let's call show prediction and uh, we'll use predictions and also here okay so now let's go ahead and uh, take our image again it's uh, saying loading and this might be a palace okay so if we go ahead and uh, take our cat picture again and paste it here go and 
this might be a tiger chat okay perfect and finally to clear things up we can go ahead and move uh, these two uh, style CSS okay with all the CSS that we used so let's go ahead and copy all of this from here to uh, here okay save and uh, let's uh, import this okay like this okay still working and also let's get everything from this script tag okay remove this and uh, let's call this main.js maybe paste it here okay and also include it here okay let's try now and uh, see if it's still working let's grab the image paste it here and as you can see it's still working okay perfect okay so this is the end of the video you can go ahead and expand this add more functionality to it add more style to it don't forget to like the video and share it with your friends if you enjoyed it See you next time.